What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum Walkthrough. Okay, so, yeah, we did a lot, and by a lot, we meant, uh, yes, we got ourselves another gym badge. Holy crud baskets, look at this. Five badges in all, and we're gonna keep the shine on these little suckers right here, okay? So, as I am recording this whole episode, and we started it on April 6th. It is currently April 9th, and when this comes out, I do not know. Hopefully, it's stocked up and ready to go. But yes, we are making... We're, we, we have a good pace. We're making a good pace for finishing up this walkthrough a little quicker than expected. And that was the whole plan behind this whole walkthrough, guys, is to make it, you know, as quick as possible. Because, well, many of you guys already know, the Sinnoh region is not really my, one of my favorite regions. But it does deserve... A, a new walkthrough because yes there was quite a few mistakes made in the very original version now in this episode we're gonna be going into route 212 and we're gonna be picking up some berries right here now let's see we're gonna be training we're gonna be doing some stuff and we're gonna be talking about a few things going into this whole place and yes as always we're gonna be rushing we're gonna be speeding through this whole thing so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna go back into the Pokemon Center and switch out a few Pokemon because, well, we're gonna be talking about a few things, so I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so we're back, guys, and we got ourselves Bidoof just because we kinda wanna make this a little easy on us and grab some items. As you guys can see, we do need a bike in order to cross this whole section right here. Uh, some of this, some of these parts re do require cut, so just be aware that, you know, if you're using cut, you're probably taking shortcuts here and there. Um, one of my biggest frustrations, let's see. What if we go right here? How do we get there? Oh yeah, we don't need we don't need the bike right there. So part of my biggest frustrations in Pokemon Platinum and basically just the Sino region is the Great Marsh or the marshes that were you know conceived right here. Not only that, but like you know when I was Draven XE 711, you guys already remember, or if you guys were with me for that long when I was Draven XE 711, it took me about four years including with Pokemon Soul Silver to finish up the walkthrough. I don't know why it took me four years, but it did. It happened, guys. And, you know, part of that was because, well, I wasn't really well equipped with the with the walkthroughs. I wasn't well equipped with anything that I have. I don't have the stuff that I have now, like, you know, the gaming computer. Don't have any of that stuff. In fact, I was doing everything with a, with a laptop, a regular laptop, and, um, you know, Going into like the Dismume walkthrough or the games, kind of like, you know, uh, what was it called? Um, the Dismume app that I have. For regular computers, it was just, you know, it lagged. Lagged like nobody else, especially when you're screen recording or anything like that. And um, yeah, you, you can imagine how frustrating it would have been just going into a game like that. And the other part, too, was that the majority of those games that I played were post comps. Yeah, I never really did live comms, just like I'm doing right now, and, uh, you know, it, like I said, a lot of years have changed, or, you know, a lot of years has passed by, I've been, like, I'm, I'm doing, like, this is what, my 13th year doing YouTube, yep, staying strong and everything, and, like, I, I want to say that everything is, has been starting up, like, right now, because now that we got a merch store, now that we got subscribers coming in and left and right, and we're getting views, Kind of feel like I'm, I'm hitting my stride with everything. And, you know, usually a lot of Poketubers finish up uh, their careers, like, around this point, because they got stuff going on. I And, you know, I, I don't blame them. You know, stuff does happen here and there. Life happens. And for me, life did happen, and it's still continuing to happen. And look at this. We found ourselves the TM06 Toxic, a very, very needed move. Now... Going back onto what I was saying right here, yeah, life does happen, especially right now. Like, you guys already know, I've been, I'm busy like nobody's business, and, well, they're talking about the, yeah, they were talking about the marsh right here, look at that. Especially the snow. Yeah, this part right here is annoying. That's why you need, like, a shortcut and everything. Holy crud baskets. Okay, so we go right here. But like I was saying, guys, um, yeah, life does happen for many of the Poketubers, and this is the reason why they suddenly disappear, because, you know, it just doesn't get fun anymore, and, you know, for me, this is just a hobby. It is a hobby. It gets, you know, it takes the anxiety away. It takes a lot of the stuff away. 
from daily life and all that stuff and you know the fact that I come out here with like you know daily Pokemon videos from like you know previous generations and all that stuff you know it, it makes me happy because you know at least I'm entertaining all of you guys with you know the Pokemon walkthroughs that I come out with um do I have any kind of like expiration date do I have any kind of like you know thoughts on like quite possibly retiring I do not know I do not know it may happen, it may not happen. I don't know when it will happen. But hopefully it won't happen pretty soon because you know, we're doing a we're doing a pretty good job right here. Now, if you talk to this lady, she's going to be like my daddy likes blue shards and shards, red shards collects. Okay, so if you talk to this guy right here, he's like if you share your shards, you're going to learn some different moves. So this guy wants to teach a move to a different Pokémon. So, let's see. Uh how about we teach Gaia a move and which move should it learn? As you guys can see, it now can learn a bunch of great moves right here, including fit, like the elemental punches. Zen Headbutt is a very good move. What is Vacuum Wave? And unfortunately, we do not have enough shards for this whole thing. And this is the reason why, you know, shards are needed because, yes, there will be an individual that will be teaching you some kind of moves with, uh, with shards. Anywho, going back on to what is what we were talking about. Um, let's see, let's go back to this guy, and, well... Well, like I was saying, guys, you know, I'm having fun just doing all of this, especially now that, you know, like, things are finally, like, looking up with my channel. You know, there was so many things that I didn't know what to do, like, in, in, you know, with the whole, like, you know, merch and all that stuff, and, you know, it's, it's always best to just ask around and see how people get merch and how they do things and all that stuff that's that's how you progress as a youtuber especially in life and all that um let's see at some point like at some point like you know um at some point we're gonna be doing a little bit more because like yeah if it's no secret that i actually do earn revenue from youtube and uh it's it's pretty good revenue it's, it's pretty good revenue for just, like, you know, basic stuff and all that crud. But eventually, like, you know, it keeps on increasing just because of all the subscribers I keep on gaining. The, what was it called? Uh, the the AdSense and all that stuff. You know, it, it just, it, it just it keeps on increasing. And because of that, you know, it, it just, like, you know, eventually, at some point, at some point, like, hopefully, the goal is to just, like, get this to, get this to, like, actually like pay for like most of my, my stuff right here I mean I, I don't want it to completely pay for me and all that but you know it at some point if I do get to that point where like you know now revenue is just becoming like it's becoming like uh, more than what I want what I'm earning at work then shoot we'll see what ends up happening but right now, just, uh, you know, we're just enjoying the time that we have right here. Just making YouTube videos and all that stuff. Redoing some walkthroughs that you guys obviously like. And obviously we're getting our butts kicked right now. And there we go. Brian attack. And there we go. Now, let's see. If we talk to this guy, you can zip across the fallen logs. Okay, so let's go right ahead and do that. And here we're going to be finding ourselves the TM62 Silverwind. And that is for, that is for bug type Pokemon right there. And, well, let's go right ahead and continue on right here. Now, let's see. Now, we could surf, but we don't have the surf attack just yet. Can't wait to, can't wait for that to happen. Really don't like the fact that, you know, we have to wait so long for it. It is not nighttime, so we don't have to battle that, uh, that police officer. And, uh, well, there is... Okay, so I kind of feel as though that we need to... Hold on, there is something... Oh, okay. Okay, so... We still can go right here, and look at that, we found a crow gunk. That right there is pretty cool. Okay, so, let's see, how do we get to that section? Oh yeah, okay, so we do have the cut technique and everything. So anywho, um, let's see. Other order, the next order of business right here, let's see. Next order of business happens to be that, yes, I do, oh wow. Okay, so we can't go there just yet. Yeah, thanks a lot, YouTube. Let's see. I don't know what's there, so I might as well just check a check up on it and see. So we go right here, and chances are you can find an item right here. I don't know. Let's see. Let's go ahead and check a check a look at our dowsing machine. Let's see. Oh, so it's right there, and we found ourselves a big mushroom that will actually help us out just a little bit. 
So, the next order of business is this, guys. Okay, so I know that I have quite a few uh, Pokemon walkthroughs that I have uh, completely paused on. And that is because, well, shoot, I kind of realized that, yeah, yeah, you know what, it's much better if we just focus on the games that we know very, very well and uh, just cover them and finish them up completely. As you guys can see, in a span of three days, three or four days, I should say, a uh, span of three or four days, we are already, like, what, we're, like, let's see, in my old Pokemon Platinum walkthrough, this, this would have been, like, episode 30 right here. But in the span of three days, we managed to get to up, uh, level six or not level 16, but we managed to get to episode 16 right here. And we already have five badges. So that right there should say something about how the effort is made and all that stuff. And obviously, I'm doing this because, well, shoot. I'm doing this because eventually, we're stumbling upon May. We're stumbling upon June and all that stuff. And you guys already know, I'm going to get very busy around this time. So just keep an eye out for that. We're stocking up on everything, that way we don't miss a single thing. And, well, here comes a Leafeon, our very first of the new evolutions in Generation 4. And here comes Magical Leaf. And, well, let's go with a Metal Claw onto this guy right here. And let's go Giga Drain. And there we go. And just like that, we win. And, yes, the, the goal is still to try and evolve Poseidon. So here we are, guys, in... Let's see. Well, the next portion of this route right here, and this this one right here, you're you're gonna be able to find a Pokemon Mansion. So, before we go in there, let's go right ahead and grab some items right here, like hidden to well, not hidden, but just right here. And here you're gonna be finding the TM uh, TM11, which is Sunny Day. That right there could be of you a good use for any kind of elemental Pokemon of the fire type, you know, grass type, and all that stuff. And well, if we can only pass these. Talk to this guy, Mr. Backlot in the Pokemon Mansion looks forward to seeing visitors. He must be able to wait because he wants to brag about something. True. Now, let's see, there are some Pokemon trainers right here. You don't you you won't get to battle that guy until like nighttime. So let's go right ahead and continue on battling right here. So like I was saying, guys, yes, there has been a lot of effort being put into into this walkthrough because, well, you know, we kinda wanna finish this quicker than, uh, you know, Pokemon Emerald and all that stuff. Um, let's see. I don't know. It's just, uh, you know, when I first started playing Pokemon games again, here we go, Green Shard, this was the game that, that started it all again, started it up. And then, uh, eventually, it made its way to, like, the Heart Gold Soul ser uh, Silver series, and then, you know, I stay stuck in the Pokemon uh, world and all that stuff. And there was always one thing about this game that just, like, didn't really give me a good taste, you know. And, well, not loafing. I'm taking a personal break. My official policy is... Okay, so... Yes, we're gonna take a rest right here. So here we are in the Pokemon Mansion, and we're gonna be finding quite a few things. Getting challenged by a few people and all that stuff. And, well, let's see. Uh, here we are with... The, here's this maid right here. And she's like, you know how to catch a Pokemon in the trophy garden. And if you guys don't know... There is a trophy garden where you'll be able to capture some rare Pokemon. And here we're getting another Soothe Bell. So that right there is, uh, I guess, a big plus because we already evolved a Pokemon that needed to evolve through happiness and whatnot. So let's grab this. A Luxury Ball. It's exactly what it means. It's a Luxury Ball and there's nothing. Now, let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon right here. Um, You know what? Yeah, we're going to go with Gaia because this is going to be interesting right here. So, let's go ahead and talk to this lady. Welcome! Here you may challenge the mansion's pride, the five trainer maids. The challenge is to beat all five of us in a row without a break. In addition to beating us, if you can beat us in a specific number of turns where there will be a special gift, incidentally, a turn refers to the time it takes the trainer to and the opponent to take uh, action. In this case, the action refers to making a Pokemon use a move, using an item, or switching a Pokemon. And now, the five maid knockout exact turn uh, attack challenge. Uh, today's targeted uh, number of turns is six. Would you like to try? Yes, we will. So, funny thing is, guys, if you have the specific Pokemon to beat these Clefairies, it will always be six. Okay, so that's one. Here's two. And that's exactly what happens. A, a Clefairy will always be using an Endure, so that was three turns right there. 
And I don't know what will happen. The rest of them will just fall suit right there. And, well, let's see. I think that's four. Yeah, okay, so this is four. This is five. And here we're learning Psycho Cut. And, well, let's go right ahead and take away a Magical Leaf because we don't really need it anymore. So there we go. That's another one. And here's the final one. We've taken five turns. And, well, here we go again. Brick break for the win. And just like that, we made it in six. And we got a clean sweep. Six turns. And, well, we're going to be getting an item. Let's see. Here is the special gift. Where's Lady Celeste? Oh, my. You must be good. And uh, ladies call me out. Okay, so we did it all. We beat everybody in six turns. And obviously, she has a Blissey, who is a tank of a Pokemon. And, yes, your technique is most enchanting. You will take my leave now. And, well, because of that, our authentic, yes. And try it over Lady Celeste. Okay, try again. What? Okay, so we didn't get a special item. So it turns out that we have to beat everybody in uh, six turns. Okay, so that, that was not fair. That was a little too misleading right there. Anywho, uh, Mr. Backlot, let's go ahead and talk to this lady. Mr. Backlot is in his office, so let's go right ahead and come here. And here is Mr. Backline. He's going to be like, hello, hello, welcome to my opulent uh, mansion. There's a lot for me to be proud of inside and outside of this home. But what makes me most proud of is the trophy garden in the back. Why bother traveling afar when you Pokemon are attracted to my garden? They come to me in hopes of seeing the garden. You're welcome to join them and, mar and marvel at my garden. And let's see, the butler is like, Master, quite, Master actually quite enjoys uh, showing his prize garden to strong traders. That is so goddamn true. And here is a very explosive, uh, expensive Pokemon book. Manaphy, an extremely rare Pokemon that has never been seen, let alone captured in Sinnoh. And this will add an extra page to your Pokedex, which you will need, guys. Trust me, you will need it. And here we get ourselves the TM87 Swagger, which, you know is a very good move to confuse your Pokemon, but the back draw is that it will, you know, sharpen it, a physical attack of a Pokemon. Now, this right here is like, I'm sorry, everything beyond this point is strictly off limits, and yes, there is literally nothing there. Now, the final thing we need to do here is take a look at the Trophy Garden. This place, you can actually find yourself some pretty good Pokemon, one being a Pichu, so that's exactly what we're going to be doing. We're going to be capturing Pichu just because we're not adding it to our team. Back back when I was uh, you know, a little younger, yes, I probably would have been using Pichu and all that stuff. And this Pokemon does not want to get captured. Come on. Come on. Stay in my team. Come on. Damn it. Okay, you know what? Great ball. Damn you. Come on. Use it. Damn it. Okay. So this Pokemon is asking us to spank it. So let's go right ahead. And we can't use... Uh Damn it. Damn it. Okay, so let's go with Rosemon. And let's go with the Grass Whistle. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. There we go. You're asleep. Who would have thought Pichus would be hard to capture like this? And here we go. And just like that, we put it to sleep. We caught ourselves a Pichu. And here is the Tiny Mouse Pokemon. The electric sacks in its cheeks are small. If even a little electricity leaks, it becomes shocked. That right there is crazy, so let's go right ahead and name it Sparky, since, you know, that is the male version of it. So let's go with Sparky. And uh, I believe another Pokemon you can actually capture right here is Eevee. So if you guys want to capture some Eeveelution or Eevees just for Eeveelutions and all that stuff, this is a place to go. So let's go right ahead and see what we can find. Hmm. No, we're finding Seravias. And... More Seravius. Okay, so I guess we were lucky with the Pichu just being the first Pokemon that we found. And I think it's a daily thing where you can actually, like, you know, um, you can find different things. And, well, look at this. We found ourselves a female Pikachu. There it is. We caught Aaliyah. So let's go right ahead and, and name her. Yes, baby, we haven't forgotten. And that's not the right name. Okay, Aaliyah. That's right. Aaliyah. Okay, so there it is, guys. We caught ourselves Aaliyah, the Pichu eventually going to be Pikachu. Let's get the heck out of here, and let's move on to the next adventure. Actually, first is first. Let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon, because that Pichu did a number on us. So there we go. And, well, let's go right ahead and move on to the next portion of this whole place. As you guys can see, there are some berries that we need to grab. And there we go. And, no, we're not going to do that, so let's go right ahead and do that. 
You guys already, you guys should already know that I don't like planting berries. Nor will we ever do it. Unless, you know, it's needed. And, well... There we go. Battling this lady right here. And she has one Pokemon. Let's go with the Pluck Attack. And, yes, yeah, Socialite has just been defeated. And do this again. Battle this guy. And he's got himself a Chatter. And so, we're gonna go with Metal Claws. Just like that. Alrighty, so thankfully it is not nighttime, so we don't get to battle any of these police officers. And, well, what's what's a shame is that we don't have the serve technique just yet, because, well, we would have been grabbing some more items right here. And, uh, yeah, that would have actually helped us a lot. So, let's go right ahead and not battle this guy. Let's see what he has to say. There are good trees that you can't smear honey, and you can't, if you want to learn a rare Pokemon, you have to find a tractor tree. Okay, so I don't really get it, but okay, I see what you mean. And, well, here it is, guys. We are back in Heart Home City. So, in the next episode, guys, we're going to be going back to Salacion Town, and we're going to be taking care of the whole Psyduck thing, because, yeah, there's some stuff going on right there. Other than that, guys, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being supportive, as always. There is a merch store that we just created, so if you guys want to get merch... You know, there it is. Go ahead and support the GLD channel. Other than that, guys, I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Platinum Walkthrough. See you guys.